What does it feel like right now deploying Clay Holmes in these late game situations? Yeah, yeah he's pretty good. <laughs> um, you know, and, and and even tonight, you know, Rutschman gets that the hit um, and then that blooper, but you still feel good that, you know, he's going to keep making pitches and, um, you know, did that with Mateo to get us out of it. But, uh, yeah, he's he's pretty special. Susan. How did Miguel and Duhar look to you tonight, both look in good. the field and hitting? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, last couple nights seeing him move around in, in left field. His athleticism plays out there, and, and you can tell he's comfortable, um, you know, and I think just more and more experience he gets, the more comfortable and the more natural he continues to look out there. Um, you know, got got that first hit that kind of, you know, rode it out and got that first hit on the board for him and for us, and then uh, obviously a big hit there in the inning where we were able to score. So really good to see him come in tonight and, and contribute in a big way. Cross the aisle. What did uh, what did the MRI, you know, say about about Stan? I know you guys said right calf strain, but yeah, yeah, I'll correct that. He doesn't have a calf strain actually. Okay. Um, uh, he's just got some ankle inflammation. So, got feel like we got good news. Uh, Achilles is fine, um, and and no strain. So, just feel like this is something that's going to be short, but feel like we should knock it out and 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 not mess with it, and maybe it becomes something else. Um, so hopefully, you know, he got out in front of it a little bit and, and hopefully it's just, you know, the 10 days and he's back. You pass it behind you. Thank you. Aaron, what does tonight's win say about the depth of the organization with key contributions from players who've been in Scranton? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it says we have it. Um, you know, we, we're, I talked a lot about in, in the spring training, you know, from the pitching side of things, um, you know, when we were breaking camp and we're talking about 15 or even 16 pitchers to start the season and we we're having really difficult conversations because we felt good about pitcher 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, you know, uh, and beyond. And, uh, you know, tonight we got to see two of those guys that got put on the 40 man roster this year. And you saw for good reason, Marinaccio was terrific in a big role to give us a couple innings there in the middle. And, and obviously JP starting it out. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously we need to lean on those guys right now and you know, over the course of the year, you're going to need to tap into your depth and, and good to see those guys step up in some high leverage situations tonight. Brennan to the right. With Giancarlo down, do you see this as a chance for Andujar to get consistent at bats up here? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, you know, <clears throat> I like where he's at. You know, uh, I, I like what he's doing, you know, defensively now and left. You know, I've always felt like it was a natural position for him. And I think now we're, you're starting to see the experience of playing out there show up more. Um, and we, you know, it, I feel like since spring training, you know, he's been in a better place offensively too than we've seen in the last couple of years. So he'll get some opportunities here. And with Joey, was he back tonight, like in a, uh, yeah, I can play type form, or was he, or was he back to 100 percent tonight? Did you feel? Yeah, I, I think it was, you know, close to all the way back. He he was able to get a good workout in yesterday, but felt like. You know, we felt like let's hold off another day. Came in today, felt good, um, and was probably going to have him in the outfield, but decided to let's let's pull back a little bit and, and just go the DH role. So, you know, not maybe not necessarily all the way, but but you know, definitely two workouts in where he felt good to go.